Hello, in this video, I want to introduce BINPOOL, which is a data set of vulnerabilities for binary security analysis. This is a joint work between University of Southern California and Dartmouth College. First, I want to introduce BINPOOL in details. BINPOOL is a data set for software vulnerability detection that can be used for both source code and binary vulnerability detection. BINPOOL contains a diverse range of Debian packages. It covers more than 600 CVEs and 80 vulnerability types or CWEs. BINPOOL is a balanced dataset that contains both versions of vulnerable and patched programs that were compiled for four different optimization levels. In BINPOOL, we provide an automation system for building vulnerable and patched Debian packages automatically. In this slide, you can see the key statistics of BINPOOL. BINPOOL covers more than 600 CVEs and also 89 CWEs. In terms of diversity, BINPOOL covers more than 100 Debian packages. It contains more than 700 source modules that were involved in the patch. We also have more than 900 source functions that because it were compiled for four for four optimization levels and for two different versions of the code vulnerable and patch at the end we had more than 7000 binary functions in this slide you can see the cwe distribution in beanpool as you can see here are the most frequent and important cwe's exist in beanpool you can see that beanpool covers the most important cwe's in the real world programs which are buffer overflow, integer overflow, null pointer difference, and use after free. You can use BINPOOL for different purposes. You can use it for binary similarity detection, but its main and primary goal is for vulnerability detection. You can also use BINPOOL for program analysis such as data flow analysis at binary level. Now I want to talk about how we created BINPOOL. BINPOOL contains three main steps. In the first step, we had to collect Debian packages at source level. In order to do that, we collected the Debian package source code from Debian snapshot. We correlated this data with NVD database to collect CDE IDs CWEs and the corresponding Debian package and the version that contains the fix to the specific CVE. You can see this collection in this datasheet. We provide the link to this datasheet in the README file of BINPOOL repository. You can see that you can see that this datasheet contains CVE, the corresponding package name, and the fixed version that contains the patch to fix this CVE. After collecting this data at source level, now it's time to build the Debian package. In order to do that, we first install the, in the necessary environment to build the package. After building the environment, now it's time to modify the source code to contain both vulnerable and patched versions. In order to do that, we used Quill, which is which is a Debian <clears throat> which is a Debian tool to modify the source code. In order to create the vulnerable source code, you can pop the CVE from the source code by using Quilt. Here is a practical example. You can see that for this specific CVE, the corresponding Debian package is MediaWiki. If you go to this Debian package, you see that the Debian package contains a directory called Debian patches. This directory contains all the patches applied to this version, both security and non-security patches. If you want to build and modify the source code to have the vulnerable function, you can use Quilt to revert this patch from the source code. In order to get the patch version 
of the source code, now you have to apply this patch by using Quilt. After modifying the source code, we use Debian tools to build the dependencies and also build the package. You can also set up environments to get the different optimization levels for each package. After building the package, it's time to extract the metadata. This metadata includes the file names or module names that involved in the patch and also the function name. In order to get that, we parse the patch file to get the function name and the modules involved in the patch. After building the package, we're going to have a bunch of dev files. In order to get the final binaries, we have to extract the dev files. After extracting the dev files, you're going to see a bunch of binaries. In order to understand which binary contains the vulnerable or the patched function, we, have, we had to map the module name to the compilation unit in the binary using the debug line section. We collected all these data in a, bin, in, a, in a JSON file in our data set. We also provide some automatic, uh, we also provide some statistics to automatically extract this data. Now, how to use our data set? You can download our data set from Zenodo website. After downloading the data set, you have to uncompress the data beca because of the uh, size of the data set, we have to fully compress the data set. After uncompressing the data, you're going to see a data set like this that contains all the CVEs. In each CVE directory, you will see both vulnerable and patch version. In each patch directory, you're going to see uh, all four different optimization levels. After downloading this data set, now it's time to um, run the script. You have to, ex you have to use extractdebtar.py script to uncompress the dev files. After running this script, you will see that in each directory, we're going to have a new directory called the dev files and it and in each dev file we have a new directory called bins this bins directory contains all the extracted binaries now it's time to extract the statistics you can run extract the statistics.py to automatic to automatically get all the statics statistics after Running this script, you're going to see a bin pool info.json that contains all the necessary information, such as CVE, the corresponding CWE, the function names and module names, and also the binary names that were involved in the patch, and also those the, the lines that the, the lines, modified lines that were involved in the patch. As a conclusion, Beanpool is a data set of historical vulnerabilities in Debian packages. It covers more than 600 CVEs across 89 CWEs, and also it covers more than 100 different packages. It's a balanced data set that can be used for vulnerability discovery, binary similarity detection, and etc. In order to cl clone our repository, you can go to this URL or scan the QR code. I hope that this dataset can be useful for your purpose.